So today I've got my hands on the brand new X88 Pro 20. So this is a full Android TV box running Android 11 with some very interesting specifications. And also this TV box breaks that four gig RAM limit that we have seen in recent years. So the X88 Pro 20 is powered by a new chipset. It's the Rock Chip RK3566, along with the Mali G52. You've got eight gigs of DDR3 RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, it supports dual band Wi-Fi AC. You've got a gigabit LAN with Bluetooth 4.2. This is running full Android version 11 with HDMI version 2.0 and supports 4K HDR at 75 frames per second. So a quick look what you get inside the box. A user manual, a power supply and a universal travel adapter included, HDMI cable, a standard infrared remote control powered by two AAA batteries, and of course, the TV box itself. Now we do have an interesting design made completely from plastic. You've got the X88 Pro 20 logo on the top. We've got a digital display on the front and I'll show you what that looks like on screen. On the side, nothing. On the back, we've got power socket, SPDIF, HDMI out, gigabit LAN, and a small reset hole. If we keep going, you've got USB 2, USB 3, and a micro SD card slot. And that will bring you back to the front and this is what the bottom of the box looks like. So without any further ado, I am going to get this all hooked up to my TV and capture card. And we are going to find out exactly how good this box really is. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test. And this TV box took 22 seconds to fully load to the home screen from a cold start. And here is the home screen. So this is full Android version 11. You have a simple design with date and time in the top corner. You can press the menu button to change the background wallpaper and you can see a whole bunch of fixed icons across the middle of the screen which cannot be edited or changed so they are fixed icons but there is a customizable favorite section at the bottom so hit the plus sign and select your favorite apps and they will immediately appear now if we head over to the main system settings and go to device preferences and check out the system storage info you will see that this box has 64 gigs of internal storage from which you have 56 gigs free to use. And if we have a quick look in about, you will see that this box is running full Android 11. Let's have a look at the complete system apps. Here are all the apps available on this box as standard. I have not installed anything yet. And you have quite a few apps to get you started, including Chrome, Miracast, Netflix, YouTube, and of course the full official version of the Google Play Store. Now the first app we need to test is AirPin Pro, which is screen mirroring for iOS devices. And as you can see, it's quick and easy to connect and works absolutely fine with very minimal lag. So this box supports screen mirroring for only iOS. We do not have screen mirroring for Android, so there is no mirror cast in this box. So now I'm going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive, and I'll be doing this with the included Movie Player app. So let's begin with the high bitrate 4K Jellyfish demo. So the first video, 160 megabits per second, playing absolutely fine. The second demo, which is 180 megabits per second, is also playing nice and smooth. It's only when we're playing the 400 megabits per second file, we're getting a little bit of slowdown and jittering, but otherwise high bitrate playing quite well. So here are a few 4K HDR demos at 60 FPS. So moving on to YouTube and you can stream a maximum of 4K at 60 FPS. Could be. This is the first day of the rest of your life. But if you want it. 911, but I can connect you to fire. Just hold the line. What does she look like? She was tall, pink hair, in heels. Hey man, can you tell me how long it's gonna take? That's right, folks. Spider-Man is in fact Peter Parker. I've just been thinking about 
how to fix all of this. So that brings us to Netflix and the pre-installed Netflix supports a maximum resolution of 480p and Amazon Prime Video also supports a maximum of 480p. So moving on to the gaming test and we are starting off with Asphalt 8 but unfortunately every time I tried to load up the game it would crash. So I was not able to actually test out Asphalt 8. For you advanced users DRM info shows Google Widevine level 3 and here is CPU-Z where you can check out the clock speeds and you can see that we're running the Mali G52. This box is running Android version 11 and does not come rooted as standard. And here are the results for the internal speed test. We achieved read speeds of 1 to 1 and write speeds of 83 megabytes per second. And in the Wi-Fi speed test we achieved download speeds of 60 and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. So that brings us to our benchmarks beginning with Geekbench, multi-score of 446 and we got a single core score of 145 and in the anti two benchmark test we achieved 130k. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top Android TV box chart for 2021 showing you the latest TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. Now these boxes have now been ranked in a new way. So we are ranking them based on features, specs, prices and the final rating out of 5. So based on my experience with the X88 Pro 20, I have rated it 2 out of 5. And I'll explain why very shortly. Meanwhile, you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So let's bring up the pros and cons and try to explain why this box ranks so low even with the high benchmark score. The box underperforms. It has a powerful new rock chip processor and the benchmarks show this with the high results. For some reason it could not stream 4K YouTube at 60fps without dropping lots of frames. So whilst it seemed like it's playing okay, it was not as smooth as you would expect. Netflix and Prime is also limited to 480p. Also, if you do anything graphic intensive on the box, it simply crashes on you and returns you back to the home screen or freezes completely. So I could not play Asphalt 8 as it would just keep crashing and returning me back to the home screen. So it seems like the chipset is either low quality or I have been sent a faulty box. And based on that, I have rated it 2 out of 5. Now it does mean if any of you out there have already picked up this box, then you guys need to share your experiences of this box in the comments below. Do let me know how you guys have got on with yours. Did you experience the same as me or have I indeed received a faulty box? So no doubt the X88 Pro 20 on paper has lots of potential, but in my practical test, I was quite underwhelmed and therefore had to rank it quite low. Look forward to hearing your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.